trading. So it definitely was. The writing was on the wall. I'm a little surprised, though. I thought that the CME would keep it open. It seemed to kind of settle down where there was a certain number or a certain amount of volume being done every day. And, and business was being done. And there are certain guys that use the screens and trade in the ring at the same time. So that's kind of gone for them at this point. But, yeah, it is a little bit surprising, but not completely. Yeah. Grizzly, we appreciate uh, appreciate the time today. Thanks so much. I'll still be down here, though. Yeah, good stuff. Right to the uh, we're glad to hear that. Anthony Grisanti, of course. Jackie, our thanks to you as well. You guys have a – I'm sure you have a comment. Doc? Sure. Yeah, well, I'm, I, I love floor trading, Judge. There's nothing outside of uh, being in a sport that you get that kind of rush from and being in there in the moment, in the game. In the arena. Yeah, in the arena. And it just feels like there's a crowd there cheering and or – cursing you. Uh, not everybody is, of course, rooting for you, but uh, it, it is going to be interesting going forward whether or not uh, the options side, which is the only surviving open outcry out there, uh, whether or not that side survives. Because right now what they're talking about at CME is, of course, as Grizz said, and Jackie shutting down the futures to open outcry. Right now the options still trade exclusively on open outcry. Right, Pete? Yeah, it, you know, it was the greatest times ever being down on the trading floor. I mean, there's some physical, there's emotional, there's everything that goes on to it. But when the electronic trading came in, Scott, in around 2000, that's when everything really changed. And you had to have a vision. You saw a clip there, a video clip there from the movie Floor. John and I participated in that documentary on exactly this as it was progressing on the CBOE. Now we're seeing virtually, as they're talking about, the end of an era. Well, this is the end of an era, unfortunately. Open outcry. But could we have been able to handle, when I came in the business, Scott, a million options per day? It moved to $3 million by 2000. Last year, $17 million a day. So far this year, $17.6 million. There is growth there, and the electronics is what gives that the ability. This news makes uh, later uh, today's interview uh, coming up a little bit later with the CME chairman and president, Terry Duffy, uh, all the more timely. They have earnings as well yeah. to discuss. You can see that at 3 p.m. Eastern time on the closing bell.